up and running from 9 a.m. Sorry, to 10 p.m. IST. Got my point? 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. IST. This should be running. Beyond this time, it should not be running. What I will do, I will create an automation account. Automation account. And I will do a schedule like a, we do a cron jab schedule. Okay, cron jab. With that, this machine will automatically come up at 9 a.m. and go down at 10 p.m. This will manage the state of the machine, which should be expected. Shut down as well as state. If this machine is not shut down at 10 p.m., okay, one reason, I have for this machine the exclusive permission. I need plus two hours today. So I can take it out from the schedule for today at 10 p.m. IST. We'll make it 12 a.m. for the shutdown. And if mail is not suppressed, notification is not suppressed, then I will get an alert and I will get to know what is my machine state. My machine state should be shut down, okay? But my machine state is running. Got my point? So one is an automation account, another is a desired state configuration. This is when I interpret the question, is a DSE, this desired state configuration. So automatically based on the configuration, it will pick up. Second use case, month end, this machine needs, instead of the two vCPU, you can schedule for four vCPU. Okay. So this can be done using policy as well as a this is uh, mm -hmm. this is automation so okay. policy is not right so policy not right why what i say policy not because policy can be control what cpu you can create it but if needs to be increased you need to use a scale set okay or automation if so you need automation on is a service separate service right which one Automation is a separate uh, Azure service. Yes, this is a separate service. Uh, recently, I used it. Okay, recently I used it to deploy one solution. This is an create automation account. Okay. Only there is free request that you must have a log analytics workspace. Okay. BPS auto account. Resource group, BPSRG, location. I created this. It got created for me. And at least you try two labs. Okay. One lab basically it becomes creating a auto startup shutdown for your virtual machines. What my point? Auto startup shutdown of your virtual machine. Try this using automation account. It's got created, will be available soon and here. Now, if you look at this, is something called it's in a run book. Okay. And you can create your own run book and you can take a browse from gallery and look at. This start and stop, this is an start VM. I will import it, okay? Give a start VM, means any name which you wish, okay? And take another stop VM, import it, stop VM, and both the 
run book are imported okay both the run books are imported now where is a refresh both are once it is there just simply say let's say just simply say edit if you want to do a test right now you can test it here otherwise say publish go to the another run book if you look at that become as an a published say publish publish so my both the run books are published now go to this should be linked with your workspace otherwise it will not work go to a schedule from here or go to run book say start vm create an a schedule add a schedule link a schedule and add schedule give a vm some name here some name here if i say abc no, in schedule we need to give the vm name which no yeah. here give some name okay? okay give a schedule here okay i say let's say ist right the based on the schedule you want to say in a create once you say say create here give your resource group name let's say bps hyphen rg give vm name and trust me if you create a vm name with vm1 now your vm will be stopped with this time make sense so there no need to attach vm once we create the vm it will automatically it will attach yes, vm it will attach yeah, yeah. So it will attach to this because we have already given a schedule right for this go back schedule abc now vm name is here right it will go and check the vm name and it will be done this is an a beauty of automation account in normal vm only you can do a shutdown not the startup okay next question don't you think to, to, uh, more than any session today's session is more informative yes. yes why because now you read something and it becomes convenient now to understand the 